In the United Kingdom, where the freedom to preach is supposedly protected, an elderly preacher found himself in handcuffs for doing just that. What happened on that street that led to this shocking arrest? And why was this old man treated in a way that has left many people outraged? Despite being handcuffed, despite the humiliation, he lifted his voice and did something that literally brought tears to my eyes. As you can see here, the preacher stands firm, asserting his right to preach the word of God on the public streets. He calmly explains that he's not obstructing the highway, allowing people to pass by freely. Yet, the officers seem determined to silence him. The police officer ordered the preacher to come down, but the preacher responded with a firm question. Is there any law against standing and preaching? When the preacher refused to come down, the police officers forcefully handcuffed him, subjecting the elderly man to humiliation for simply preaching the word of God. <laughs> In this video, I want to cover uh, this old man who was preaching the gospel of Christ um, in England. And this man must have been probably 70s, um, obviously above retirement age. You know, he, he was feeble, um, wasn't strong and, and, and able-bodied, but somebody who, who looked like he was unsteady on his legs. The only strength he had was his voice and being able to be confident to deliver what he believed in. However, what shocking, while he was standing there defending the faith, all of a sudden the police came along and said that uh, he didn't have a license or he was using a public space. I've never ever heard the police ever in any area, no matter whether it's London, whether it's Bradford, Birmingham, they've never stopped a Muslim street preachers and says you are using the public highway.
In fact, I've seen Muslim tables galore with, with copies of the Quran and, and literature, and, and they're actually standing, sometimes blocking public highway, but they're allowed to do that. I've never seen any Muslim ever arrested for preaching from the Quran. However, I've seen far too many cases where Christians, genuine Christians, who are not praying for money, they're not praying for wealth, they're not pr praying the kind of Joel Austin, T.D. T. D. Jakes, or, or, or Creflo Dollar kind of pagan prayers, but genuine Christians who know the Lord Jesus Christ and go out there and spread the gospel. They're the ones who are targeted. They're the ones who are being arrested. The way the police put a handcuff on him, manhandled him like if he was a young buck. Manhandled him like if he was in a boxing ring and he was fit and, and, and healthy. And it's quite sickening. And what I find disturbing is how this can go on and yet there's no Christian protest. How this can go on in the body of Christ but yet nobody cares. No, nobody says, let us refuse to either pay our council tax or refuse to pay some kind of subsidiary in order for our voices to be heard. No pastors has called for any kind of boycott. No pastors. And that's the reason why they do it, because the church leaders have a conflict of interest. The church leaders are not interested in, in Christian persecution, but rather to line up seats and to get tithing and to build their business empire and, and fly private jet. This guy was manhandled. He was technically assaulted. And yet, he did, they took him away just for preaching Christ. He tells you, you know, we are told we will be hated. We are told, don't, don't remember, forget that they hated me first. That is the gospel. They hated me first. You want it so the world will hate you. You want to hear that being preached in Joel Austin's church or Creft of Dollar. It's all about money. So when persecution like this happens, people have their hands tied. When persecution like this happens, the church have nothing to say because there's a conflict, a serious conflict of interest. The guy was assaulted by the police. Far too many cases like this. There's another case where this was a black preacher and he also, he was an old man as well. He was an old man pushing late 70s, 80s. And he was also arrested. And you got young Muslims out there preaching strong from the Quran, preaching strong. And yet not one of them ever has been arrested. Are you beginning to realize what is going on? What exactly is the agenda? And why is it that they're allowed to get away with it? Why? And until we have sensible conversation, sensible conversation regarding this, sensible, the church will continue to be devastated and to be attacked. Let me know your opinion. What can we do about it? Let me know your opinion. Or do you think that there's, there's far too much conflict of interest for anyone to really care? Do you think that we're money orientated, money motivated to even care? I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe. In the United Kingdom, where the freedom to preach is supposedly protected and 
elderly preacher found himself in handcuffs for doing just that. What happened on that street that led to this shocking arrest? And why was this old man treated in a way that has left many people outraged? Despite being handcuffed, despite the humiliation, he lifted his voice and did something that literally brought tears to my eyes. stands firm, asserting his right to preach the word of God on the public streets. He calmly explains that he's not obstructing the highway, allowing people to pass by freely. Yet, the officers seem determined to silence him. The police officer ordered the preacher to come down. But the preacher responded with a firm question. Is there any law against standing and preaching? When the preacher refused to come down, the police officers forcefully handcuffed him, subjecting the elderly man to humiliation for simply preaching the word of God. <laughs> Take it easy with me. Preaching the word of God. 